Hi guys, welcome to Nana's Corner. My channel is all about learning to DIY, craft, and cook without spending a lot of money. If that's what you're looking for, be sure to subscribe and then click on the bell when it appears so you won't miss when I upload something new. And if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know you'd like to see more. Easter's coming and you're going to love this project made from all Dollar Tree products. It's cute, easy, and best of all affordable. But before we get started, I want you to know that Dollar Tree is compensating me for this video. But you know me, I love my Dollar Tree products. Also, in the description of this video, there's affiliate links and I'll be compensated if you make a purchase after clicking on my links. So let's get started. Okay, for this project, you'll need a wreath form. The one I'm using is 9.8 inches or 24 centimeters foam form, but use what you can find. If the Dollar Tree in your area has the wire form, you can use that too. And don't forget to shop your stash. If you have some of these supplies already, awesome. By all means, use those. I also used mesh tubing from the Dollar Tree. This mesh tubing comes in 12 yards to a package, which you'll cut down to about 14 inches along with the ribbon. I'll show you an easy way to cut the tubing and the ribbon faster in a bit. But you'll also need pipe cleaners or what the Dollar Tree calls tinsel stems. Either will work, so use what you have or what you can find. You'll also need ribbon. The colors and patterns are your choice. Use what you like or have in your stash. There are some that I found at the Dollar Tree this year that are so pretty. A pretty Easter egg pattern, a pink burlap ribbon, a colorful hatched pattern, and this very pretty natural burlap ribbon that has lace down the center of it. I also found this thinner ribbon, but it didn't give me the full effect I was looking for. And I just love these cute foam Easter eggs and these adorable bunnies that I found at the Dollar Tree. So I'll be using them to embellish my wreath as well. Okay, so let's get started. Our first step, we're gonna make these ribbon bundles. And this is how the ribbons will be attached to the wreath. If you use the same size wreath, you'll need about 12 to 15 bundles, depending on the width of the ribbon you use. You're going to need eight strips of ribbon and tubing at 14 inch long for each bundle. So for each bundle, you'll need approximately 112 inches or a little over three yards of ribbon and tubing. Go ahead and mix and match your ribbon and tubing to whatever you like. An easy way to measure and cut your ribbon into strips is to get a piece of cardboard cereal box or what I used, an old top to a plastic shoe box container that measures 14 inches. Then just wrap your ribbon around whatever you're using. I wrap the entire roll around it, hold it in place, and then cut both ends. In the video, I only show cutting one end because it was hard to fit it in the screen on the video but be sure to hold your ribbon and cut both ends. You'll end up with the entire roll cut in one shot with not even measuring. Well, you have to measure once the original piece of cardboard or whatever you're going to be using. As you can see, this thin ribbon is kind of floppy. After cutting it, I decided it's a pretty ribbon, but it wasn't going to work for this project. So my recommendation is to stick with the wider, heavier ribbons for this wreath. Okay guys, now to put the bundles together. Gather eight strips of ribbon and tubing if you're using it. You can use all different colors and patterns or double up on some if you'd like. There's no rhyme or reason to the order that you add the ribbon. Each bundle will look different. It's all up to you. And be sure to have a pipe cleaner close by and ready before you start the bundle. You're going to take each strip and overlap the ends about an inch or so to form a loop. Then take the loop and bend it back on itself to form a bow-like shape. Hold it securely in your fingers. You're going to do the same thing with each strip and keep adding them together. Just squeeze them together and don't worry if they start to look funky. We're going to fix that at the end. If you find it difficult to hold the ribbons together, 
You can try holding them with a clothespin or even hot gluing the ends of each loop first and then squeezing them together. Do what's easiest for you. I have to admit it was a little bit difficult because I have arthritis in my hands. So if that's you, you may have to do some of these modifications, but it's, it's doable. Just see what works with your fingers. If your ends pop out, don't get frustrated. Just push it back into the bundle. It doesn't matter where it goes. We're going to fix this because at the end, we're going to fluff the bundles when we're done. No worries. No stress. Once you get all strips to get together, take the center of the pipe cleaner and place it over the center of the bundle. Then bring the ends together on the back of and then just twist. Squeeze the ribbons as tight as you can and twist the pipe cleaner several times and as tight as you can so the ribbons will stay secure. Once you have the bundles secured, gently separate the loops so that they aren't in a straight line. They don't have to be perfect. You can fill in gaps after they're attached to the wreath form. Now you just repeat this process and make the rest of your bundles. Once you get all eight strips together, take the center of the pipe cleaner and place it over the center of the bundle. Then bring the ends together on the back of the bundle and twist. Squeeze the ribbons as tight as you can and twist the pipe cleaner several times and as tight as you can so the ribbons will stay secure. Then gently separate the loops so that they aren't in a straight line. They don't have to be perfect. We can always fill in gaps after they're attached to the wreath form. Now you just repeat this process and make the rest of your bundles. Once you have all your bundles made, it's time to attach them to the wreath form. Spread the pipe cleaners one on each side of the bundle. Place the base of the bundle on the form with the pipe cleaner touching the form. Wrap the pipe cleaners around the form and twist them to secure the bundle to the form. Try to tighten as much as you can. It may move a bit, but once you have all bundles on, this won't matter. You'll be putting the bundles right next to each other around the entire form. You can push them closer together for a fuller look, or if you use less bundles, you can add embellishments such as Easter eggs or flowers in the gap. This is where your creativity and preference comes in. Let me show you one more time, and then I'll come back when I have all the bundles on. This is how it looks after the ribbon bundles are all around the wreath. I used a total of 12 bundles. With the last bundle, I pulled out two of the ribbon ends to make it look more like tails on a bow at the bottom of the wreath. I also added a ribbon to the top for hanging by just wrapping it around the form and placing it between two bundles. Now you can leave it like this or hot glue embellishments on to hide any gaps in the ribbons. This is how my wreath turned out with the embellishments glued on. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll have a new wreath on your door this Easter. Let me know in the comments if you're going to give this a try and if you have any questions or tips. And as always, if you like this video, let me know by giving me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss my next upload. Happy Easter!